Hi, today we're going to have a longer video about academic writing. This is a tough subject. You might have to do this for your university work or your IELTS exams and it's really good to have some strategies so that you really know how to write a great academic essay. So we've got a really simple kind of question here, much like you might meet in the IELTS, and that's space travel is a waste of money. Agree or disagree? So it's really just a kind of statement, and uh, usually uh, for a long academic project you might write uh, certainly in the UK, thousands of words on this kind of subject. The question would probably be more complex. Or for IELTS, it would be something like this, and you'd have about 40 minutes. So I'm just going to cover the simple uh, kind of essay that you might do for, for IELTS. So first of all, you've got to think about the question or the statement. Here we've got this idea that space travel is a waste of money. So, uh, first of all, you need a kind of introduction. Um, and you need to work out what the two sides are, agree and disagree, and see what those are. So, uh, if we're thinking about uh, why we might agree that space travel is a waste of money, uh, maybe uh, poverty, uh, you know, like the money could for space programs could be spent on um, feeding people or something like that. Uh, and then why might we disagree? Because uh, I don't know, live on Mars or tourism to space. Uh, any more reasons why we might agree that um, space travel is uh, a waste of money? Hmm, poverty. Uh, what about the time? Um, you know, the waste of time. Maybe uh, scientists could do other stuff like uh, cure diseases or something like that. Um, so we've got a few points here. So that's, that's good, so you know what you're talking about in your essay. You're covering both sides. Um, so let's, let's try and do an introduction now. Uh, in this essay, I would like to talk about how some people perceive uh, space travel as a waste of money. Uh, in some ways it can be seen as a waste of money, and in some ways it can be seen as beneficial, as useful. Um, yeah. And then you've got two uh, paragraphs kind of discussing the content of the essay. So uh, I might then talk about why I agree that space travel is a waste of money. I'm like, oh, um, I don't say, oh, of course. I would be like, hmm, it can be said that space travel is a waste of money because uh, the money spent on rockets and so on is millions, billions of dollars and uh, or pounds or euros, depends where you're from. Um, and yeah, it could, this money could be used for alleviating, stopping poverty and so on. And then uh, the next bit, um, what was my other point? Oh yeah, it's a big waste of time. Uh, especially of the scientists who could be, <coughs> excuse me, could be really helping, um, you know, you, us learn about diseases curing, I don't know, cancer, AIDS, this uh, incurable or hard to cure diseases, and it would be a better use of the money. So that's the second paragraph. And the third paragraph you analyze the opposite point of view and you kind of say why it's rubbish. So, I could be like, some people, third paragraph, some people disagree 
uh, they say that space travel is great. Uh, they say that it gives humanity a chance to live on Mars and continue humanity if there was any problems on Earth. And also it provides a great chance for tourism um, to space so people can see the Earth and have great uh, feelings and experiences and this is uh, priceless. And then finally I'd make a conclusion. Um, well, there seems to be two interesting sides of this debate. Um, but overall, I think that the money uh, f used for space travel could be used better to help humanity. And um, only when the problems on Earth are sorted, should we consider traveling to other nations or, you know, whatever. Uh, nations or planets yeah so hopefully you've kind of seen that there's been a kind of introduction introducing the topic looking at one side of the debate the side I uh, agree with then looking at the other side the side that I disagree with and then finally making a conclusion in favor of my side of the argument so it's really quite a simple process you just have to practice a lot and something you'll notice, obviously I'm speaking and not writing, but my language is very kind of neutral. All this kind of the phrases like, it could be said that, I think that, in my opinion, uh, perhaps it is the case that it can be asserted that having looked at this situation, I think it could be fair to say that you have a very academic, neutral tone you don't go in saying, oh, space travel's a load of rubbish, I know it is, blah, blah, blah. It's got to be more uh, kind of neutral register. So that's, um, yeah, those are the main things, you know, that kind of structure, almost. Intro, A, B, conclusion. Really, really simple, uh, especially for IELTS. If you follow that, you do well. Keep neutral. And another thing that I would like to advise you is, um, keep it simple and kind of memorize at least the beginning of the phrases you're going to use like those phrases um, those neutral phrases in my opinion so on or in this day and age uh, one of my students uses you know the intros how you introduce opinions you can just do it the same way over and over again and you're just um, you know, improving your English in that way, giving your English structure. And also you don't have to reinvent the wheel. There are phrases in English which are ready for you to use and you should use them. As simple as that. Um, you know, you've got that opportunity just to think of your favorite phrases, learn them and then keep using them. Keep using them to introduce your ideas and um, maybe check out my other video on connectors, um, you know, how you link things there for, because, due to, thanks to, um, it can all be quite helpful. Anyway, this has just been a, a basic introduction to uh, academic writing. Uh, I would be very happy to go through more essays. If you have any particular topics you would like me to cover in this uh, academic writing, uh, I would be very happy to do so. And yeah, very good luck in your writing. Keep it simple. Keep a log logical structure and learn useful phrases that will really help you along the way. Perfect. This has been Learning English with Charles, Language Tutor Online. Uh, I'd be really interested if you like these kind of longer lessons. Um, I'm hoping to make some really long lessons, you know, like 10, 20 minutes. Um, so that you can get some real value and, you know, that you really learn something. Because that's what this is all about, you learning something. So let me know what you think of this uh, longer lesson. And uh, let me know how you're getting on with your academic writing. And, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, all those things. Um, if you like uh, learning about English or learning about academic writing, this is the place to be.